checking and fixing the CERT 004. You want to be on the Certification Details LEA page. You can go to the Certification Details. Let's look at the CERT 0004. What you want to go over to the show, right click on the show and open link in new tab. This is going to open two links. You're going to have the certification link, details link, and then you're going to have the link that contains all the SSIDs that are affected by the CERT 004. What you want to do is highlight, and you can see the CERT 004 is uh, about the ethnicity and race being missing. So highlight the SSID and right click and say copy, and then scroll up the page, go on up and uh, open up online maintenance, right click on CERT student D data, bring up a new tab. Once you bring up that new tab, you want to drag that tab off of that browser and then hit Windows right arrow. It's going to put them side by side. Exactly. So what you want to do, put the SSID in the search window and paste and then click search. It's going to bring up that student's record. Now here's something a little different. Go up to the top and you're going to, after you verify that that is the student you're looking for, because we're going into the demographics, go up to the top, put up forward slash in the word demographics. Then click at the end of that, that, that URL and press enter. That's going to bring up the demographic record for that student only. So what you just did, you set up a list of the SSIDs on one side and a way that you can go to each SSID directly and look for that information and put the information in. You found the information there. What you can do after that is you can click add or open either one if you need to add information you click add and put the information in or you can open the record then once you put the information in you get validate and if it and there's no validation errors what you want to do is you can hit post let it do it so then you go after that's done, we're not going to validate right now. We're going to go over and grab another SSID. Right click, copy, go up to the URL, paste in the SSID over the old SSID that's in there. And then just go to the end and click. Double click, rather. That moves you directly into the other student's record. And you can see the information's missing. You can click open to fix it. Or if, it's, if the whole information is in, you can add, click Add, Validate, and Post. Then move over to the next one just to verify that this is what's going on. You go over, highlight it, right click, copy. You can highlight the SSID or double click right on the SSID and it should highlight it all. And just right click and say paste it in there. Go to the end of that URL, double click. See how fast the page is loading to? So you put it in there and you can click add or open either way to add the demographic information or you can go in and just go in and actually um, open to edit the record and put the information in. You gotta put in that ethnicity missing, yes or no, no, put in the race code. Once you put in the race code, you wanna make sure they go ahead and fill out the uh, rest of the, all the information that's needed. The parent guardian um, information, and then you wanna validate and then post. And in the last, the guardian's last name. This is just to let you know how this actually works. Uh, you put in the first name. And the guardian's second guardian's first name. Date. And 
post. That was the effective start date. Validating post. And then post. This is a quick way you can verify and uh, check to see uh, if it, the error is valid or if the error needs to be corrected.